Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have 3 to the power of m plus m equals to 30 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here the very first step we are going to do is here first we move this plus m uh, to the right hand side and it is written as 3 to the power of m equals to 30 minus m. And now in the next step, uh, we divide both of the sides by 3 to the power of m. So we write it here, divide both of the sides by 3 to the power of m. And uh, uh, this implies that uh, 3 to the power of m divided by 3 to the power of m equals to 30 minus m divided by 3 to the power of m. So these are cancelled by each other and we get uh, here uh, 30 minus m divided by 3 to the power of m equals to 1. So here we write this right hand side first and left hand side after that. Okay. So now here uh, we use the lambda w function uh, in order to find the value of m. And now uh, first I will little bit explain about the lambda w function. It is stated as uh, w if you have w of x e to the power of x is equals to x okay so this is the standard form of lambert w function and now uh, in the left hand side uh, we make uh, uh, the exponential term with base e and uh, after that we multiply its exponent e by here then we apply the lambert w function and we get its output is the exponent of e okay so now we move this 3 to the power of minus m to the upsides and it is written as 30 minus m into 3 to the power of minus m equals to 1. So now you see here uh, because uh, we need uh, this number 30 minus m to the exponent of e. So here you see that this is only minus m. So we need uh, 30 here so that we multiply we multiplying both of the sides by 3 to the power of 30 okay so when you multiply both of the sides by 3 to the power of 30 it is written as 3 to the power of 30 into 30 minus m into 3 to the power of minus m equals to 3 to the power of 30 so now uh, you see here the basis on both of these terms are same so we add its exponents and it is written as 30 minus m into 3 to the power of 30 minus m equals to 3 to the power of 30. So uh, further uh, now we uh, make the uh, exponential function with base a with base e so uh, uh, in order to make this type of function here uh, we need to take the uh, log and anti log uh, same time on this term okay so when you take log and anti log at the same time so this expression uh, is written as 30 minus m into e to the power of log here we this we take this log and anti log at the same time on this term it is 3 to the power of 30 minus m equals to 30 so you have this is 3 to the power of 30 okay so now uh, here we need some simplifications and uh, uh, now uh, we move the exponent in the front of this log by using the nice property of log so okay so uh, after using the property of log we write its exponent as in simplified form it is 30 minus m into log 3 equals to 3 to the power of 30 okay so now uh, we make the exponential function here uh, so according to the definition of lambert w function uh, the exponent of e is multiplied by here so you see that the exponent of e is 30 minus m into log 3 so uh, we need this whole exponent here but here we have only 30 minus m so log 3 are missing so uh, now in order to make uh, log 3 we need to multiplying both of the sides by log 3. 
so that when we multiply uh, this equation both of the sides by log 3 it is written as log 3 into 30 minus m e to the power of 30 minus m into log 3 equals to log 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 30 okay so now here we need some simplifications and uh, here we ready to apply the lambert w function because we uh, make all the conditions of lambert w function so that now uh, we apply the w on both of the sides so when you apply this in the left hand side it is written as log 3 into 30 minus m into e to the power of 30 minus m log 3 and it is equals to w of log 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 30 okay so here uh, we multiply both of the sides by uh, or we take the lambert w function on both of the sides so here we need some simplifications in the left hand side so you have the exponent of e is multiplied by here so the output of this type of function is the exponent of e so the exponent of e is 30 minus m into log 3 equals to w of log 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 30. So now in order to uh, simplify uh, the right hand side here uh, we again make uh, this term according to the Lambert w function according to the definition of Lambert w function so that now we write this 3 to the power of 30 into the log form so here we take the log and anti log at the same time e into log 3 to the power of 30 okay so here we use the nice property of log and we move this 30 in the front of this log uh, so uh, here we have so here we need uh, one more step uh, before applying or before use this step here we need we break this 3 to the power of 30 in this form we write it as 3 to the power of 3 log 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 27 here we break this 3 to the power of 30 and we write 3 to the power of 27 okay now we take a log and anti log at the same time and we write it as w of 3 to the power of 3 log 3 and we write it as e to the power of log 3 to the power of 27 so now we need some more simplifications and we know that 3 to the power of 3 equals to 27 log 3 and here we use the property of log and we move this 27 in the front of this log and it is written as 27 log 3 so now uh, again we uh, we have in the form of uh, uh, standard form of Lambert W function so that now we take the exponent of e is the output of this function it is 27 log 3 and now on the left hand side we have 30 minus m into log 3 so now we focus on both of the sides and you see that this log 3 is cancelled out by this log 3 and we get 30 minus m equals to 27 so because we find the value of m now we move this minus m to the right hand side and it is written as 30 minus 27 equals to m and finally we get the value of m equals to 3 okay so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos